Hey there, welcome to another day at Geller Academy. And the topic of the day is one that definitely can affect how often you train, getting hurt, injuries. There's no way of moving without the risk of getting hurt. And uh, fight is definitely no different. Being on the mats for nearly 30 years, I had my share of injuries, so I speak up out of experience when I tell you how bad getting hurt and staying off the mats is and how much that sets you back on, uh, on your progress and your ability to reach your goals. But first, like, I mean, let's just stop a minute to understand, like, I mean, why do we get hurt to begin with? Right? So it's, yeah, it's an accident, but when we look back on an injury, we, we, we can always see that we've done something that we shouldn't have done. It's quite a natural. Right? You don't need to, to be so hard on yourself every time you get hurt because uh, we are fighting after all. So when we think about fighting, we're actually competing against someone that really awakens our animal spirits, that releases like so much adrenaline that, uh, that we basically don't think straight. So we do things we shouldn't, we put our bodies in positions that are just not smart, and uh, we push the limits of our physical abilities beyond what is safe. And the result is, unfortunately, an injury. Just because getting hurt is part of the life of a fighter, it doesn't mean that you cannot do something to minimize the chances of you getting hurt. Just think about it. Like the results of one single round, surviving one submission attempt, or going at every round like it was a final of a world championship, it's, it's not nearly as important as not getting hurt. Showing to the gym, going back home in one piece, so you can come back the next day for more. So to wrap it up, I brought today five very specific tips to help you roll safer and wiser and uh, avoid getting hurt and prevent you from hurting anybody. First one, tap early. You got yourself a submission, you, make a mistake, you made a mistake already. Right? Just accept that as a learning experience, move on. The second one, control your speed. Especially in the beginning, it takes time for you to move fast like world-class athletes. Right? So like, don't go too fast if you cannot handle that much speed yes, yet. Third one, I call this defensive rolling. Kind of like driving, it doesn't matter how well you drive, if everybody around you suck at it, right? So when you roll with someone, take a moment to, to understand your opponent's game, what kind of style does he have, and ideally, you should be able to anticipate his movements so you can adapt before he even does it. Like that way, you're gonna prevent putting yourself and your opponent in positions that uh, either you could get hurt. Fourth one, Respect the limit of your body. Most people are not as flexible as we wish we were. So in the heat of the moment, like I mean, we tend to do things and put our bodies into angles that uh, our joints cannot uh, uh, sustain. So control your ego when you're fighting and all respect what your body can do for you. And the fifth one, you know, there are people that are more likely to hurt you than others heavy guys, beginners, or spazzy training partners. It's not that you should avoid them, right? So every training partner gives you a different training experience. But like when you're facing those guys, just be careful, be extra careful, and, uh, and just so not that you or him gets hurt. Bottom line is you don't want to be that tough guy that gets hurt and stays six months away from the gym, all right? So, the, the, the main idea of today's video is don't get hurt.